Ryan Sassano, our crew tonight. 88th time these two knock heads. And underns tonight. Would there be enough points to go around for St. Joseph's against what's a very underrated Penn defense? Catch and shoot for Wong. And wasting no time. 17th three of the year in Penn. With he got out of the gate very slowly. They're off to a good start here. They had an early lead in that game and then uh, about midway through the first half, things didn't go so well. Speaking of going well, Wong with all five of the points for the Quakers. Well, I think one of the things, uh, a key for St. Joseph tonight. The deep two. Wong navigating the lane, got the shot altered. Funk and Edwards combining. Bynum trying to force the issue, turn it over. Fifth turnover and Wong at the other end. Palestra, Matt, I mean, uh, we expected a good crowd and you can see all the way in the corners, the building's filled. I was just gonna say, it's it's corners, John. It certainly is. Backdoor cut, St. Joe's, Funk, and Brown do a great job of capitalizing on it. And a sixth made field goal for Brown, who now has a game high 13 points. Wong, though, holding the follow through in the corner. And he's into double figures for what's the eighth time this year. Hodge back in for St. Joseph. Watch this out of bounds alignment. Awfully unusual. They'll double Wong in the backcourt, or at least the idea was there that they would. Bynum commits the foul. Ten points on the game. Final front end. And cool as ice. Football players. One of a handful of Chinese players playing college basketball here in the United States. Yeah, he's one of, one of five in Division I this year. Three for 23. Brown on the rise up. And Penn beats St. Joseph's for the fifth time in the last nine tries. An outright Big Five title for the Quakers for the first time since 2002. You know, I think the coaches from both programs like and respect each other. They know how hard it is for Penn without scholarships to get this done, to beat a Temple, to beat a Villanova, to beat LaSalle, to beat St. Joseph.